This song is called On High Mountains We Would Like To Be and this is exactly the drive of Amateur Adventures. Welcome back to a new episode. In this episode you can expect a drone crash and a really shitty takeoff on a glacier. But uh, yeah, less talking, more videos. So welcome, uh, here I'm on the way up to 2900 meters, uh, I will sleep up there, I hope it's not gonna be too cold and in the morning I hoped for a good wind to fly down, the forecast is actually not too good but I learned one thing in paragliding, never listen to the forecast, always go on the mountain and decide if you can take off or not. I'm on top of the mountain, 2,970 meters, almost 3,000. The weather is awesome, the view is just stunning. Here is uh, the Florida, Florida field and stuff. And uh, yeah, first beer and uh, afterwards I will update you about my equipment I'm using. As I promised, I give you a quick update on my gear I'm using on the mountain. The tent is a Hilleberg, uh, I can not sure if you can see it, it's a Hilleberg Neok. It's 1.8 kilogram, uh, it's quite heavy, there are much lighter tents on the market, but I think it's just like a mix of uh, quality and uh, light gear. I was in storms in Slovenia and it kept me safe and dry, so... I really can recommend this tent, it's awesome. Uh, for sleeping I'm using the Mammut sleeping bag, I'm not quite sure what's the... It's called Sphere Down. The comfort zone is uh, minus 11 degrees and for the sleeping underground the Thermarest Neo Air paragliding equipment. I'm not gonna unpack everything right now because I'm not sure if I can fly tomorrow. Uh, it's right now it's a single skin from UFO Air Design. It's uh, two kilograms. It's the 21 square feet because I took the the bigger size because if I have to fly down all the equipment in the morning, it's quite heavy and uh, takeoffs are usually not the best. So uh, I stay on the safe side. Uh, also, a really important safety feature I um, take with me when I go alone is the the Garmin Inreach. In reach thing, it's this one here, and it's also for the family. Sometimes you don't have connection on top of the mountain. Yeah, this is it, and uh, now I'm just enjoying the really amazing view. I mean, look at this. Good morning everyone, uh, I had a uh, not so beautiful night, I expected it a little bit more comfortable, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the sunset was amazing, the wind is naya, but I think uh, it's possible to take off, but it's going to be a scary takeoff because it's going to be over a glacier and uh, yeah, I think you don't want to, you don't want to fail on this one, <laughs> but uh, I think it should be, uh, it should be fine. and. Uh, yeah, I think see you down there. A really, 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 really sketchy takeoff. Let's try. 
Let's analyze the sketchy takeoff. In front of me it's quite steep, so I hope to take off before I reach the flat area. Actually it didn't work out, so I stepped in the snow, I stumbled and I fall on my belly, sliding down towards the rocks until I take off. As I practiced the pingo takeoff in the winter time, I was able to handle the situation. <laughs> oh shit, that was not cool at all actually. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, that's already the end. Uh, please drop a comment below what you think about the video, I would really appreciate it. More videos will follow, so don't forget to subscribe our channel and in the meantime, check out our other videos. See you next time, cheers!